Hey guys, Flux Edge here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Now, I know what you're thinking. I've already made kind of a wet floors um, style tutorial, but this one is a little bit different. This is going to be more focused on kind of a realism puddle. So when you have a road or some kind of surface, it's uneven. Like naturally, surfaces settle and they begin to get potholes and stuff in them like this road. Now, the difference between this and my other tutorial is my other one was texture based and this is geometry based. So this is going to be a little bit harder on your machine, but I feel like the outcome is a lot better and it's a lot cleaner than the texture based tutorial. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane and this plane is going to serve the purpose of your road or your street or whatever it is that you're trying to put these puddles on. <clears throat> so as always, I'm going to turn on my uh, shading lines. Now, um, in order to do this, you're going to want a few more polygons than this um, so it looks clean. So I'm going to set the uh, width and height to 1000, uh, make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to set these to, let's see, 100. That looks pretty good. And this is all dependent on what you want to do, but for the tutorial, this is what we're going to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, hit C on my keyboard to make this object editable. Go over to my polygon mode, mesh, uh, sorry, tools. Nope, it's somewhere in here. Mesh, create tools, transform tools. There it is. Transform tools and brush. So your brush is going to let you manually adjust these polygons without having to click each individual one. Um, it's kind of like sculpting. So to change your the size of your brush, you want to hold control and middle mouse button and drag it in or out. I want a kind of smallish brush size here. Now, um, all you're going to do is going to brush where you want holes. And right now, if you see what I'm doing, it's uh, altering it in weird ways. So you want to do this from a kind of top down view. It doesn't have to be perfectly top down, but so I'm going to just create some slight divots randomly. Make my brush a little bigger, bring some more, kind of check what I'm doing. Nothing crazy. Maybe make it a little bit deeper. Just to randomly make these puddles or these holes where the puddles are going to be. And totally, totally random. Make a lot of little ones too because no surface is perfect. And right here, I'm getting some weird polygon issues. So I'm gonna undo a few steps, I'm getting it there too. And I think that's because my brush is smaller than my polygons. There we go. See that, just hit Control Z. Don't wanna make it too buggy. Let me reset my view. All right. So now that you've got some holes in this plane, we're going to texture it. And I will be including this texture on my website for free. Um, and sorry I'm doing it on my website, but it's kind of the only way for me to track that kind of stuff. So uh, you just have to go in, fill out some information, download it. It's totally free. No credit card info or anything like that. So I'm going to make this uh, click note editor. And then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And let me find the textures real quick for you. All right, so we've got these four textures. We've got a diffuse, a height, a normal, a roughness. So I'm going to select all these and drag them in. Once they load in, I'm going to click this, drag this over a little bit so I can see the whole name. So this one is my normal, so I'm going to put it here. This is my height, so I'm going to put it here. And let me change this real quick. We want this to be glossy. Click this one. It's my main diffuse. And this one's my roughness. Now you can organize these however you want. doesn't matter. And you're just going to drag these in here. So I'm, I'm doing the height to bump, just so you know. And then I'm also going to hold control, click on this one and drag it to duplicate it. And I'm going to move 
or grab a displacement map, put it here, and put this displacement. Actually, uh, I'm not going to do displacement because that's going to be even harder on the machine. Okay, so we should have our material, right? I'm going to apply this to the road. Let me grab my live viewer. Okay, first thing, it's not going the direction I want it. Um, and also, as you can see, it's really warping the texture. We don't want that. I'll fix that after I rotate it. So I want it to go this way. So to, to rotate your textures, um, first off, you have to be in a mode that is able to be rotated. So I'm going to change, I'm going to click on the material and I'm going to change my mode to cubic, the projection. And then I'm going to make this smaller because it's sin way. Then I'm going to change this to like 400 because I want it to cover this the whole plane. And I'm going to click on this, which is my texture edit. And since I'm in cubic, I can just rotate this like a cube. As you can tell, it's kind of a, uh, it's not really a cube, but it is. That's how it's shaped. So I'm going to click, hold shift and turn this 90 degrees. As you can tell, this rotated my texture. I'm going to click off that mode, back to object mode. And now my texture's all off. So what I want to do here is just get it back into frame about there so it's not tiling. So this is my road, right? And as you can tell, when I change this to cubic, it also fixed the texture so it's not super warped. It's straight from any up or view like this, but it's curved down where the road has sunk or settled. So that's what we want. It's a little more realistic. So now that we have a road and some potholes, we want to create another plane. And this is going to serve as our water. So I'm going to drag this out to cover all of the potholes. And now I'm going to drag it down a little bit. You can already see we're getting this kind of puddly look. I'm going to save this. Okay, so now we need to make this water. And right now, uh, actually you can see that these lines are very jagged and we're gonna fix that after we make this material. So shader, octane material, and we're gonna make a specular material. And we're gonna go to index, bring this up to like 1.5. We're gonna go to transmission and change this to like a brownish color because Clear water isn't blue, um, and when it's on the road, it's full of dirt and grime and whatnot, so we want to make this kind of brown. But we want to keep it bright, and I'll show you why in a second. So we'll start off making it dark. So if we wanted a dark, mucky brown, we'll bring it down like that. You can see this almost looks black. So this is where the real water work texture comes in, and I'll go ahead and apply this so you can see it. And we will add a sky before we do this so you can really get the idea. I'm going to rotate the sky kind of like the evening or a morning time. And I'm going to change. I'm going to change the north offset to here, bring it down a little more, brighten, nice and early in the morning. Importantly, I'm going to change this to path tracing. Okay, and now I'm going to, oh, the texture's already on there. There we go, okay. So now we're really getting this puddle look. So let's adjust this a little bit more. So um, realistic water, you can see through. No water is, is this dense that you can't see anything through it, especially when it's shallow and like a pothole, just a small puddle. So we want to go to our medium tab in our water texture, and we want to change this to scattering medium. And we're going to adjust these values till we can see through the water. Now, as you can still tell, we've turned the density and the volume down. 
and we can't see through. And that's because our, our materials, our transmission is too dark. So if we bring that up, you're going to see the, a huge difference. So now we're kind of getting this murky water look with um, still holding this color that we want. And that's why you don't want it to be too dark. Since it's uh, a medium and you can adjust the density, it'll be darker depending on how dense it is. And that's closer to what you want in real life. So if this was a really deep puddle, it would have a fall off coming into the puddle. So say that was really deep, that would be more realistic than having it, you know, all the way black. So you want to keep this kind of murky. Totally up to you. I like to have a little bit of that fall off. It adds more of a sense of realism. Actually, I'm going to turn down a little bit because none of these puddles are deep. That looks better. Okay. And now I'm gonna add a bump because no water is perfectly fl flat like that. There's always wind or whatever, rain, but it's not, not gonna be anything too intense. So click on bump in the water texture Go to Texture, Cinema 4D, Octane, and Noise. So that's way too much. I'm gonna bring this, actually, I'm gonna bring this up to around 15. I'm gonna bring the Omega down, the Gamma. So you just wanna kinda play with these values a little bit till you, you find exactly what you want. Now that's a really, really bumpy texture. As you can see, it's taking a lot longer to load. I'm going to add one of my presets real quick. So it changes to 1000. It's better. But it's, it's far too bumpy. So that's pretty subtle. Like I said, you just kind of have to play with this value until you can find what you want. I like that. I think it's pretty realistic. Now, the next thing you want to do is, since these are all jagged, like I said before, you want to turn this plane into a subdivision. Or sorry, this one, the road texture. Drag it into a subdivision, and now it'll really clean those uh, polygons up. So let me turn this light off so you can see this a little better. So see how they're very, very smooth around here? If you turn this off, they get all jagged. Yeah. So this is a really quick way to get a, a geometry based texture versus, um, or sorry, geometry based puddles versus a texture. And I think it looks far better. And if you wanted to extend this road, you could always just duplicate it a bunch of times. Um, so if I were to do this, or actually grab a cloner, drop it into a cloner, hit fix textures, change this to zero, and then you want to adjust the x value till they're off each other. So the great thing about this road texture is it's pretty tileable. Gonna make it towards tiling. Add more road. It's a lot of geometry though. Oop, hopefully this doesn't crash. Actually, let's make this negative 800 or 799. There we go. But either way, I'm going to take that out of the cloner because it's really slowing down my computer. Now, the other thing that you can do with this.
Now the other thing that you can do with this is adjust these puddles really, really easily. So say you have your plane and now you want to click your scaling tool and we'll turn off the water for a minute and we will drag this up and it alters the road even more. You can see it distorting the texture a bit too much though. Um, but if you want to make these puddles more shallow, more importantly, you can just drag it down and they're not quite as deep anymore or even flat. So it's totally adjustable after you make those first initial um, brush movements. Oops, I'm not on it anymore. But yeah, there you have it. Um, if you have any questions or you want to learn something else, leave a comment down in the description or hit up my Discord channel, which is on the community tab of my YouTube channel, and I will help you out there, including any tutorials that you recommend. So thanks for watching.